Hi friends, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Chai and welcome to my channel. My goal is to empower you to shine your unique light into the world. With that said, let's get started. Yes, hi, thanks for joining me here guys. Yes, it is that beautiful time for another cool and vibey pick a card, okay? So this topic is actually a viewer suggestion made by a wonderful viewer and her name is Mimi Simone. So I just wanna thank Mimi for this beautiful topic here. Um, so the topic is why do some celebrities come into your dreams, right? Your hidden messages. So if you've been following me for quite some time now, you know that I love talking about dreams and diving deep into them. Um, with these beautiful pick a cards here, the piles will actually give you, um, will help you gain insight on why you're seeing celebrities in your dreams, okay? Speaking of celebrities and dreams, I just want to also mention, um, you know, I just watched a really cool and awesome dream pick a card made by Queen Sensitivity. I believe she just dropped her dream video last week. That's when I actually saw it. And it was so spot on for me that I, I really had to make a mental note to actually give her a shout out today. So, <laughs> you know, go check her out right after this video, okay? Um, but, you know, she'll be able to help give you more insightful messages there. Um, she's definitely a very unique and talented reader. Um, I can tell that she actually allows her inner child to actually shine through in her a lot of her readings, okay? So I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun watching her as I do, you know, every single time. And I just love watching her videos because it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like I'm hovering over a campfire listening to her, you know, telling really cool stories, right? So I really would like that, you know, if you give her some love, go check her out. I will link her channel down below alongside with her dream video. So um, yeah, with that, we will move forward to the next scene. And the next scene is actually the top down view. Hi friends, thanks for joining me here at the top down view of all the different piles we have here for you. So today's topic is why do some celebrities come into your dreams, your hidden messages, okay? So this video topic is a viewer suggestion. So a quick shout out um, and thank you so much to Mimi for suggesting such a cool topic to dive into. Uh, but with that said, let's get started, okay? So we have pile number one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. So with pile one, if you do choose this pile, your group is going to be um, looking at this brooch here, okay? So beautiful. All right, group number two. So you guys have this beautiful llama here. That it's jeweled, so it's very nicely dressed, right? So beautiful. And remember, this is about why do some celebrities come into your dreams, okay? And then for pile three, you've got this beautiful mermaid. And I resonate with this one so much. And pile four, look at this. Very empowering, very beautiful. Look at that. All right. So with that, you can go ahead and check out the uh, description down below and the timestamps there and I'll meet you at your pile. Hi friends. So if you picked out this timestamp, it is for group number one. Hi, group one. Yes, thanks for joining me here. So group one, in this video, I actually have chosen to do things a bit differently, okay? Because I felt that you guys will definitely benefit a little bit more with me being able to tap into the first card um, and the brooch as well, okay? So then after that, I actually was able to write down what I have found out in cross-referencing the information that I saw in my mind's eye and what I found on the internet, okay? So with that, we're gonna go ahead and tap into what I found out here. And um, it actually matched the energy there. So basically your brooch is giving this vibe of like a very specific era, okay? And you're gonna see the different ages here, the different eras that I, I wrote down. But let's see what your first card is. Do you remember this beautiful uh, card from the deck that I actually just recently purchased? So that was really awesome. So now you get to pick a, with, let's see what you've got here, okay, group one? So you've got the Pose Brave Flight. I remember this one. Um, it says here, you will not let fear stop you this time, okay? Number 26. So any angel number that you do see, um, take it upon yourself to actually uh, look at the angel numbers. So with that, I was able to find um, through Edgar Allan Poe's information, right? American poet, short story writer, genre, usually very dark romanticism um, during the 19th century, okay? Which is the Victorian age. And I wrote down the Victorian age here. And then I did notice that Somehow the energy was also connected to Jane Austen. So um, she was an English novelist during the 18th, late 18th and 19th century. She was the one who actually wrote the Pride and Prejudice um, book that actually came out as a movie. And in that 
that movie, the actors are um, Karen Knightley, right, who played Elizabeth, and then Rosamund Pike, who played Jane. And um, because of that, I was able to actually figure out that maybe even if you don't, you maybe your celebrity isn't the exact people that I'm talking about right now, but they give that essence of this beautiful um, very specific era, okay? And maybe they carry certain physical traits or, um, um, you know, uh, characteristic traits that really pertain to these people here, okay? Um, but the ages that I did channel through in my mind's eye after seeing this brooch was the Edwardian age, right, which is from 1901 to 1910. Um, the Victorian age, um, which these two are basically it, um, it's from 1837 to 1901, okay? And then when I looked into this brooch here, um, through my mind's eye, I did see the movie, not movie, it's actually a show on Netflix, and I'm not being sponsored, um, but I really love that show called The Bridgerton, and that's actually, that's supposed to take place in the Regency age, so I wrote that down here, and that really gives me that vibe, okay, so maybe you're, you're um, dreaming about maybe a certain actor or actress that is actually playing in that show right now. So that's probably it too. But we're going to actually go ahead later on. Um, stay tuned till the end of your reading because I will be pulling out um, certain characteristics or certain genre um, that will be coming out for your celebrity. Okay, and you can confirm and validate through that as well. But let me put this to the side. Um, don't worry, I, I per usual as for my reading, I normally... Um, you know, I normally pick up the card, so you're going to be able to see it up close. But let's see what you've got here. I'm so excited because, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. So, okay, so I took a look at that one, but let's see uh, for these ones here together. So, Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Yes, definitely. And look at that mermaid tail. Oh, yes. I, I resonate with mermaids a lot. Okay, so, and then you've got this affirmation here, which I will be putting to the side because I would like to read that to you later on. And then you've got the focus card, okay? This is the um, Deja Druid uh, deck, and I love this, this deck so much. So it says focus, and then two of scrolls, which is the two worlds, okay? Already, I'm already seeing a lot of um, different scenarios, but I will take a couple minutes to take a look at it. The Emperor, so this is from um, Janine Worthington's In Between Tarot, and the Emperor is the energy that is exuding from your dream here, okay? So, and then you've got the Empress, wow! So you've got the Empress and the Emperor, okay? So let me actually put the, these two here. So this has something to do with a relationship or something, because you've got the couple here, okay? And then you've got the two worlds. That's insane. Palace of Cups. I'm so excited. Oh, I love this. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Okay, so let me put this here. All right. And then you've got the Dreams card. Wow. What are the chances of you getting actually the Dream card in your Dream Pick a card? That's insane because I I swear to God, like I, it's very rare that I get this card. I think I've only got it once or twice before during a reading. So this is very special to me, to me, this is because I, it's, you know, whenever a reader um, gets to see new cards, we get really excited, right? Even though I did study the card, the deck, each deck that I do get, I study them very well before I do any readings, right? I really study them um, to understand what the meanings are, and then I will util start utilizing them. But, you know, we don't always retain every single information, right? So it's nice to see this, and I, I for forgot how this one looks like because I haven't seen it in so long. Okay. So nurture, okay, and then let's see, you got your tea leaf and you got dark woman, fair woman, okay, and dark man. So these may also be the characteristics of the celebrity that you uh, do see in your, your dreams. And then I made sure that you guys get a spirit animal, which is um, the Eagle Mastery, you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Now, when I see this card and I'm putting the, these two couples together, I really do feel like there's there might be a connection to, if you believe in past lives or parallel lives, right? Um, they're both one and the same, but it really depends on what your viewpoint and your perspective is. But for me, I really think there's something about that because it's about going beyond... Um, you know, the 3D, okay? So I'm gonna put this here. And, you know, 
per usual as my for my video I normally take a couple of minutes right but it'll be a couple of seconds for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and tap into all the different scenarios that I can find here through my mind's eye and through the cards here okay so with that said I'll see you in a couple of seconds all right all right group number one so you know like I said I you know because I'm so excited about this card I'm actually gonna talk about this now um for me <laughs> let me take a let me take a breather here for a second because I've been talking really fast lately. Okay, so what num number one when it is very like I said before, it is very seldom that I am able to actually pull this dream card from this particular deck because it's it's rare for me. So um, for it to come out, it really feels like your reading is a very very particular one, very special one, right? And especially when you've got this brooch here, you've got the special brooch which is very different from the other ones, right? Um, what else do I sense? I sense that, yeah, so basically I am sensing that you're actually going to step into a very rare opportunity, um, because it was very rare for me to grab this card, um, by, you know, my ritual, like when I, it, it flew right out, right? So, and obviously that was in the pile that, that wasn't looked at. So with that, I am noticing that your energy what you're moving into is going to be a very rare one, okay? A very rare um, opportunity of some kind. And that dream that you had about your celebrity may actually have been quite a surprise to you and you were not expecting it, right? Because um, maybe you're the type of person that don't really dream about celebrities, right? There are some people who really dreams about celebrities all the time, but, you know, there are those of us that really don't. So now this time you've been seeing this particular celebrity, right? Um, what else do I sense? Uh, like I said, you know, the dream may have been taken place in a theme um, like these, you know, golden ages here or whatever, if they call them golden ages, but the, the different ages here, right? And that is, it may not have been typical for you to dream about these things. So this is really hitting you in like a blind spot in a sense, okay? Um, what else? Uh, so what I do know about the dream card is that it is asking you to see the situation through the eyes of both lenses, right? Um, it's for you to actually see the light and the dark, okay? And sometimes things may not seem um, the way that you planned, or maybe it seems, it may even be, so Spirit is actually channeling through me by, by asking me to say, it may even be like a lot scarier than it really is. And sometimes, sometimes you do have to kind of go into the dark to see what is there, right? That's what I'm seeing through the, the um, dream card here. And I know that um, in this deck here, if I can remember correctly, it's really about, you know, like I said, it's about seeing the light and the dark in a situation because look, some people may see a tiger as something that is very scary, right? But not to this fairy. This fairy loves this tiger because she knows that side of the tiger that not other people know, right? Not everyone gets to see that beautiful soft side of a tiger. And it kind of reminds me of that beautiful nature show um, because our technology has come out with a lot of new wonderful things, right? Because they have, they, um, I think a, like a night vision uh, camera or something like that was be, was able to capture how animals live in the nighttime because a lot of times, you know, we can't really see how they, what they do in the dark. So, but because this new technology has come out, we're able to kind of see how beautiful, um, you know, the clan of a tiger would be, right? How they act and how they're very soft with each other and how playful they can be right but that's only because we were able to see through the dark okay and that's very indicative of this card and that's what it reminds me of and that's what I'm gonna tell you so basically that's what I sense from this card here um what else do I sense here yeah so I sense that this this tiger is actually a symbol of courage okay for you to actually embrace that that really ferocious beastly side of you right um, that can actually fight for what you deserve. And that's what I sense when I look at this tiger. And for me, it's about you, you know, really, really, truly nurturing, right? Nurturing that side of you and not be, um, not to shun that side of you, right? Not to shun out that side of you. Um, and it's so weird. I just noticed that right now that look, you've got number three here and number three here. So it really correlates together. I'm getting goosebumps. You can't really see because I'm wearing long sleeves right now, but... <laughs> But yeah, so basically it's all about nature and nurturing yourself, right? 
So what I'm sensing with this nurture card um, group number one, as you can see, this woman here is actually soaking up all the great healing vibes from nature, right? And she's allowing herself to actually radiate such brilliant light. It, see how she's like radiating right here and her, there's like this beautiful, um, uh, you know, auric field ball, like fireball coming out of her palm. That's because she is actually embracing all parts of her, okay? And she's allowing herself, just like mother nature, she has the very sweet side of her, the very nurturing side. And then she also has the ferocious, vicious side with the storms, right? So that's all mother nature. And that's what your dream is all about. That's why you're seeing that particular, um, you know, also keep in mind group number one, this is a general reading. And that's why I'm saying it could be any celebrity that, that you're seeing. And if you can correlate that and resonate that with this video, then it is your reading, okay? Um, if not, you can go ahead and pick another pile. But I really feel do feel that that, that um, the Edwardian, Victorian, and Regency age is what you have tapped into. And it may not be a recent dream, but it could have been a dream from way back then, even when you were younger, if you can remember, okay? But this is more like to um, honing into more maybe in the past year or so or a couple months. Yeah, so I have a feeling that there's something that you want to do that actually may require a lot of nurturing, right? A lot of nurturing your self-confidence um, and basically like for you to actually push yourself to actually execute it because, you know, I, I feel like this dream card and this nurture card is displaying that energy here. It's almost like you got to nurture that side of you and really have courage to go and, and nurture that dream that you probably have, right? Why I say uh, dream is because of this card here, right? Because it's like, this could also be a sign for an actual like um, wish fulfillment, okay? So yeah, so basically this may also vary because remember this is a general reading. So there is a group of you guys that that this particular scenario is not about having a dream to fulfill, but more of like, because you're seeing these celebrities because it's more of like a romantic, um, you know, past life information that, that is coming through to kind of show you what's going on with your current life, okay? So maybe you're having relationship problems or something like that, right? I'm not saying that you do, but I'm saying if, if that's the case and that part of the reading is yours, okay? Um, because I also see a different scenario, right? So um, so like I said, for the, the others of you that actually this dream is about a love story because I do see the emperor and the empress. So the empress and the emperor um, really kind of gives me that vibe of like the, 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 uh, the power couple. Okay. So since we're talking about them, I'm going to actually put these down and pick up the empress. Okay. Um, oh, let's see the empress and the emperor. So when I look at the empress here, yeah. <laughs> so here we have both the empress and the emperor and and I also notice with this is their castle, which is the place, the Palace of Cups here, okay? And when I see the two worlds, I really do feel like I'll, already I do see that these two people have actually come from a very different background and there may have been people actually opposing the union. So maybe that's your scenario right now. But either way, the celebrities that you do uh, you saw in your dream it's about, um, you know, it's about this love story, right? For for the side that is, you know, resonating with the love story. So even with their differences and their difference in upbringing and their differences in like their backgrounds, right? Their soul actually exudes harmony, okay? Because the emperor and the empress, they're a cu power couple and they really harmonize very well. And the chemistry between, between the two of them is like undeniable, okay? Um, so one person actually carries the magical blueprint of the divine feminine and the other person, which is the empress, right? And the other person is holding the mas divine masculine. And that's what spirit is asking me to actually choose those words specifically. Um, because the reason why is because look at the, look how divine this palace of cups is, right? So basically you, in your dream, uh, with a celebrity, you may even go to like a very specific spot. Um, could even be a palace underwater as well because this palace is underwater. Um, but it's a very specific spot. And I do feel like you guys um, do 
actually communicate in your dreams, okay? Your souls are intertwined, okay? So if you've been dreaming, uh, especially with the ones that you do see over and over in your dreams, so that means that you have had past lives with them, okay? Yeah. So I'm like looking at the palace here, and I do feel that energy. Like you guys really have had multiple encounters within your dream realm. And maybe because in your parallel lives or past lives, right, you guys may have um, have this beautiful lover's connection, um, but maybe not in this lifetime, but you have chosen to actually live your life separately this time around. Because remember, guys, just because celebrities may seem unattainable to you guys now doesn't mean that they are not, number one, they really, they're still human, right? They just have gone through a different pathway in terms of career. So they have that, that, that different side of what their um, life purpose is, and that's what they came out to do, right? And we chose a different, a different way. Um, but with that said, so they have been like, um, and it also, you know, you got to keep in mind, like parallel lives and past lives exist. So you may have already been a celebrity in the past life as well. And maybe you guys were like lovers back then as well. You know, you just may never know. Right. So, um, but when I see this palace of cups, it's about you both having this feeling, right? Cause this is a cups card, right? It's about this this beautiful uh, connection together. You have a mutual feeling, right? Um, in your other lives. And it's a beautiful, really beautiful thing that I'm, I'm tapping into. And I feel like you guys are really almost like a, a, you know, your divine counterpart, right? That's what I feel because I was guided, like I said earlier, I was guided to talk about using the, the very specific words of divine masculine, um, sorry, divine masculine and divine feminine. So it's, um yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, you know, and we were talking about the two worlds, okay? So let me actually put these down. So we were talking about the two worlds because we did, um, you know, I, I tapped into the energy of this card and it really did show me that you guys, um, you know, just like maybe right now you came from a different, um, you know, different backgrounds, different, um, you know, cultural things. Who knows? We don't know, right? But in your past life, you did. You with that specific uh, celebrity. You, you when you were got when you guys were lovers. I'm like stumbling over my words here. So with the two worlds, it really does say that you guys um, came from a very different background, very right? different cultures, different the way that you guys were brought up, very different. Okay. Um, so we're talking about a love story that is a, uh, it was a very dramatic and slightly darker love story. That's what I'm picking up because now I'm, I'm looking down and I remember you guys got the Edgar Allan Poe <laughs> and Jane Austen and they really are, um, you know, very in tune with the very dramatic and, and, um, dark romanticism, uh, I can't even say dark romanticism, right? Romanticism. Um, <laughs> But with all of that, you know, talked about the hidden messages to your dreams may not even be about any romance, though, like I said, because remember, we did see that that you had this beautiful dream that may in your waking life now, that's why you're seeing these people, because maybe your dream is to actually have a wonderful um, soulmate right by beside you, right? And maybe there's like unrequited love and you would like that to kind of um, heal, and really transmute and and for you guys to be able to be together right and that's probably what it is because otherwise you wouldn't get the power couple coming out here okay yeah so in addition to that um you know i feel like you guys are going to be able to integrate and embrace all sides of you guys because we did talk about the beast within you right and um that actually gave me a very good a <laughs> good title for my next pick a card so stay tuned for that one too because now I'm thinking oh maybe I should do that but we'll see we'll see um but with that I feel like you guys really do and can integrate and embrace yourself um maybe there were things back then and the celebrity is showcasing you know maybe that celebrity have always been kind of um showing off or displaying a certain side of you that you didn't like and that's why they're showing that to you for you to embrace it. Okay, group number one. Um, actually, let me let me read this here. It says here, um, <laughs> I am unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. So maybe the desire that you have, the dream that we talked about, how you want that, um that beautiful soulmate. And then a lot of people maybe said to you, oh, you know, um, why are you so fixated on that, right? 
everyone has the rights and prerogative to do and desire as we wish, right? So I think that with this affirmation here, group number one, it's basically asking you to actually trust your gut, trust your heart, and trust that whatever you're feeling is guiding you to where you're supposed to be. So keep going, moving forward, okay? Because it did talk about, you got a lot of um, cards that really talked about um, the focusing and things like that, because you did get that, that focus card here right? Um, when I tap into this fo focus card, it's basically saying, you know, spirit is actually asking me um, to say this. And it's, it's always like spirit is always leading us to our confirmations, right? And validations, like I said, and look here, guys, I can't believe how like these two cards, um, you know, look, I just noticed it too. So earlier, I remember, <laughs> I, I read the word focus and when I look down, it's focus. So there's something about the beautiful focus aspect of the energy. Like you, you're able to actually really put your energy on one spot and really, um, you know, just be potent about it, right? Be really stern about what you want because you can get and have those things come true. Like I said, back in the days, you know, um, back in the days, back in your past life, you were, the celebrity that that um you know that came through maybe their soul maybe not who they are now but their soul you, you guys had like a kinship or some kind of like romance together okay doesn't matter who they embody now as who they are now but their soul they had something to do with your soul so that's why they came through um for this for this reading uh, what else do i sense yeah, so basically spirit is basically pushing you forward to truly move forward and nurture, right? Because I keep looking at the nurture card too. Nurture yourself, nurture that side of you, right? And cherish everything that you are because you have the ability to actually pursue your dreams. And if it's something that you want, um, you know, it's all about just getting more information, right? Oh, getting more information and actually, um, you know, getting that, that beautiful overview because you've got the Eagle Mastery here and it says here, your wisdom inspires the world. If you want to become that celebrity, say for example, oh my gosh, I just got a third scenario here. So basically with this Eagle Mastery here, maybe you are on the journey of in your waking life right now, you want to become a celebrity, right? And that's why you've been dreaming about celebrities lately because you ha it's part of your blueprint and you want to become a celebrity just like them, right? It's saying Eagle Mastery, you're going to reach that goal if you keep going at it. And there's something that you need to do is gain courage to pursue what you want to do because you've got the tiger here and then you've got the um, unapologetic, right? Be the unapologetic, unapologetic you. Okay. So um, I excuse my speaking right now because like the way I, I'm stumbling over my words because I'm a little bit dehydrated, but I do feel like there's something very special about you guys. Yeah. I'm feeling like there's, like I said, it's not a coincidence that you have been dreaming about these celebrities, right? Or this particular person, if you're only seeing one person, um, you know, you've been seeing signs everywhere. I feel like it, it, maybe you're seeing them everywhere or maybe like a commercial comes on and you see them or hear or read about them or something like that, right? So this message is for you to actually go for your dreams, like I said, and I've learned that through my own awakening is that the universe will always, always show you what is possible for you. Um, but um, if you want to become a pilot and all of a sudden your mind and, and your soul start aligning and you start seeing signs about how to become a pilot and here are some more affordable schools where you can actually become a pilot or maybe you finally met somebody who actually is a pilot and you got the, you know, inside connection, right? The world will always help you if you just focus and fixate. That's why I keep seeing the focus card in my mind's eye, even though I'm holding it, but I'm, I'm focus, right? Yeah. I love science. What was that? Um, once you, <laughs> so basically when you focus on a particle is when you actually get to see, um, where that particle is, but in actuality, the particle is everywhere, you know? Um, so that's exactly what it is. When you look under, under a microscope and you're actually looking at that specific spot, you're focusing on that spot, then you're able to see where that those particles are, but in actuality, when you're not fixated on looking at that spot, it exists everywhere. And that's the great thing about um, spiritual science and actual earth science here at the moment, um, which I think both are gonna eventually integrate. 
Um, but that's another thing, right? I don't want to go on to, into that rant there. Um, but no, so, but we're we talked about this and I noticed the lioness card here. Let me actually put this right here. So you, <laughs> these synchronicities, I swear. So basically lioness, you've earned all your stripes and look, I kid you not, these came out through my ritual. They flew out and I didn't even get to look at them. So you got the lioness and you've got the tiger. What are the chances, right? So what I'm really channeling through is that not just all of your spirit team, you're actually your higher self is speaking through me right now and just asking you to really trust, trust that you can do it, okay? Group number one, you have what it takes to be able to achieve your goals and uh, you know, if this is about a romance situation for another side of this group, you know that what, uh, what really matters most is that um, you love uh, very well, right? Even if you guys don't come together in this lifetime, you guys shared that be those beautiful moments together and just embrace all of that, that beauty that you guys built together, right? Not to say that you guys won't come together, I'm just saying. Um, but even if, because with life, there's, where is darkness, there is light, okay? And vice, oh, and sometimes vice versa, right? Because everything has to, to blend and mesh. Um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's how it is. But I saved these for last because, so I saved these for, for last to talk about. Um, you may be seeing a dark woman, a fair woman, or a dark man in, in as a celebrity. And then if you look in here, you can take a look at these movies or these um, characters here, okay? So with that group number one, I will go ahead, stay right there, I'm gonna clean this up, and then I will bring out your your charm pulling. Okay, group one, we're back here, okay? So basically, here we have, I've made some um, characteristics or genres here, and then we're gonna pull out some initials and maybe some zodiac signs to kind of correlate your celebrity. You could see, confirm that this is your reading for this particular pile. So let's see what we've got here, okay? So one second. So let's start with this here. So group one, I'm gonna close my eyes. All right. This is gonna be a bit loud, so you might wanna lower the volume a little bit or just step away. Close my eyes. Wow, you've got a lot. Okay, so group number one, let's see what kind of characteristics you um, of the celebrity that you may be seeing, okay? So this celebrity actually stars in a movie with mostly PG-13, so it might be a kid star, um, but it doesn't have to be. This is a general reading, so take what you... Soccer player, maybe you're dreaming about a soccer, a, a professional soccer player, okay? And then, and this person has a mustache. And maybe they have a birthmark on their face or somewhere that is visible, right? Okay. Or maybe you're dreaming about a K-pop um, person, you know, um, celebrity. So the initials are, so you, we've got J, J. So J in blue, J in pink. So maybe uh, a male person named J and a female with the letter J. R, X, G as in girl. B as in boy, uh, a Scorpio, right? Maybe they are Scorpio. Uh, v as in Victor, W as in Winslow, um, Aries, right? Maybe Aries, the letter Y, the letter G, the letter Y again, and then the letter C. Okay, so these are a lot of different celebrities that came through, or maybe it's the same one, who knows? 
Um, but these are your information here for your beautiful charm. Um, with that said, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, okay, if you like this reading. If you haven't already, come. Come join our amazing and creative family here, okay, where I do interesting and empowering, uh, empowering pick a cards for you guys so that you can actually shine your deliciously unique light into the world. And it's totally free, and it will help my channel to grow in order to help as many people as possible. And that's my main goal. Um, so feel free to like, share, and comment down down below. I love interacting with you guys, right? And um, also, if you didn't see the intro earlier, I did give a beautiful shout out to another beautiful content creator that actually does really great readings as well. Um, her name is Queen Sensitivity. I will link that down below, okay? So with that said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Hi friends, thanks for joining me here. So have you picked out this timestamp? It's for group number two. Yes, hi, thanks for group number two. Thanks for joining me here. So just letting you know that um, in this video, I actually have chosen to do something a bit differently this time. Um, I have taken a look at your first card here, which I separated, right? And I was able to um, cross-reference with the, the things that I did channel through my mind's eye. Um, and I cross reference it with the, in, uh, the information that I found on the internet um, about certain celebrities, okay? Because I want to make sure that you guys are getting the correct information um, about certain, you know, things about the, the, um, the actors or actresses that I'm seeing, or maybe the celebrity that I'm seeing, uh, whether that's across um, every genre that, that may pertain to, okay? So with that said, um, I also tapped into the brooch here, which is the llama. So you may be seeing um, certain celebrities that actually kind of resemble, you know, certain characteristics of a llama, right? Um, <laughs> could be the buck teeth or something like that. You know, the it's just, it, it's a general reading. So there's a lot of, um, you know, different energies that came through. But with this particular first card here, I'm going to open it up to show you what I've got here, okay? So we haven't looked at this yet, but this one, I've already taken a look at the first card for you. Um, and let's see what is going on here. Yes, so I remember this one. So the little brother and little sister, uh, siblings, younger friends, responsibility number 40, okay? So any angel number that you do see here, um, that you see here, you can take, um, yeah, you know, take it upon yourself to actually look up online to see what that angel number is. But this is the information that I got from this brooch and also this card here. Okay. So when I looked at the llama, I also saw a kids because we taught, you know, in this card, this is about the, the kids, right? The little brother and little sister. So immediately llama and kids movie came through my head. And then I went along to see who were the actors and actresses behind those, vo the, the voices behind those characters. Okay. So basically Emperor's New Groove, right? And um, it says here, King Cusco, which is David Spade. So you may be seeing David Spade. You don't have to, but maybe there's a characteristic about um, there are character trait about David Spade that matches the celebrity that you're seeing. That's a po high possibility too. Um, or maybe Patrick uh, Warburton, who played the Kronk, right? Kronk, the big guy in the in the um, show. And then John Goodman, which is Paca. And then Eartha Kitt, right? Which is Yzma, the evil lady. So <laughs> um, also with this card, I was able to tap in. And because... Um, my god sister and I, we were just talking about this movie, Cheaper by the Dozen, last week before I even did this pick a card. So that actually, that conversation came into my head. So then I was like, I got to write this down because group number two got to know, right? So um, there's actually two renditions of Cheaper by the Dozen because they actually remade the movie. And for the year um, 2022, the actors would be Zach Braff and Gabriel Union, okay? So those two actors and actress... Um, basically is probably what you're who you're seeing or maybe um the celebrity that you saw in your dream really do resemble those people or maybe carry something or even starred in movies with them that's a high possibility and then for the movie uh, the cheaper by the dozen that was made in the year 2003 which actually has steve martin bonnie hunt and hillary duff okay so that's a high possibility and also after i thought that this was done i actually saw um, Robin Williams actually came into my mind, in my mind's eye. I saw his face and I saw him playing the Mrs. Doubtfire. And that also came through because the llama is a very goofy thing, right? It's a comedy in, in a way. So that really tells me um, that 
you know, Robin Williams came through because it kind of showcased that that energy of like being lighthearted, right? Or or maybe um, there's a side of the this particular group, group number two, you guys are working too hard into taking care of certain people because, or maybe you're helping other people behind closed doors. Because remember, Robin Williams played a nanny, right? Um, he dressed up and actually did his, uh, wore like a mask or something that was made out of some prosthetic thing. And, and he became an old, older lady who is supposed to be a nanny. And he was there to take care of his own kids because, um, you know, he had marital divorce problems or whatever that was going on. And I do apologize if this is a trigger. I, um, you know, but I just wanted to kind of give you that information because it just feels like that's there. That's what's going on. But let's see these cards together and let's see what comes out. Okay. Group number two. Yes. Yeah, so you basically got the coyote. Actually, let me do it this way. So we know that you've got the coyote, right? So we'll put this down here. And you've got storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. Number 44. You can look that up. Okay. Group number two. And then you've got family and tribe. Wow. Wow. That is insane. You actually got little brother and sister and you've got family and tribe. But you know, the thing is, I just noticed this is that the, the little brother and little sister card says siblings, right? Which is this. Um, but it also says younger friends too. So it doesn't always have to be your family member. Okay. Um, the world. Okay. Okay. I, I get it. Wow. Okay. So balance and whatever number you guys see, just, um, take it upon yourself to go ahead and look that up. The master artisan. Um, for the in-between tarot, it's knight of swords. Mm-hmm. Um, play right? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I just literally just got that. So that's why, that's why I saw Robin Williams because he was playing a character for his kids. Okay. So this is the affirmation. I will read that later on for you guys. And then you've got the queen of cups, right? And then for your tea leaf, you got older man, You've got angel, okay, and you've got man, all right? So, wow, okay, so I'm going to put these here, and, I, you know, per my video, as you can see, if you've been following me, um, I will take a couple of minutes, and then, um, but, you know, you, it'll be a couple of seconds for you guys, but I want to make sure that I'm tuning in and seeing all the different scenarios that, that you know, because this is a general reading, so I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, group number two. I mean, I, I'm really drawn to this card here, and it says little brother, little sister, and I remember researching on uh, which movies, right, with this card, because I did say, I, I did see this one. Um, so, when I look at this, these characters, they look kind of sad, right? There's a lot of sad energy, and maybe you're seeing these celebrities because they're giving you answers to the predicament that you're in, okay? Um... You know, yeah, so um, trigger warning, right? Uh, I'm going to count from three to one. So three, two, one. I did pick up a pass on loved one, okay? Because I do see the angel card and the um, the world card. So, okay, so basically, sorry, I'm very emotional right now. Um because it's, it's, it's coming through hard. So, so yeah, so maybe, maybe your passed down loved one was a sibling and maybe they died at a really young age and, um, they actually have been basically disguising themselves as a celebrity to come into your dreams because they, they know that you get scared very easily, right? That's what they're telling me. Um, there's, you know, there's just a lot of love there, but it's, there's something about them kind of holding back and, and kind of spoon feeding you a little at a time. Maybe, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you're the little sibling and they used to spoon, spoon feed you instead. Um, that's also coming through. Um, I feel like crying really hard. Like, so maybe a, a lot of you guys are feeling it. 
yeah. So anyway, so let's, let's, I'm going to, okay. All right. So <laughs> don't mind me. I really like when I channel, it's like, I feel so hard with you guys. Um, yeah. So they're saying that you guys used to play pranks on each other. Um, wow. But now they're saying that there's something that you need to know about your life because why you're seeing these celebrities is they've chosen very specific celebrities to kind of give you messages, okay? And um, yeah, those celebrities that I told you about, um, that's what, what they've been showing you. <sighs> okay, so moving forward with this reading though, I feel like um, they're asking me to go towards the balance card and I'm gonna move this here. Yeah, so for maybe it was your twin sibling, right? And 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 that's coming through. Um, but it could also be a passed down loved one that may not have been a sibling. Maybe it's someone that you really did cherish a whole lot, or a divine counterpart. Okay. Um, wow, I really didn't think that this was gonna go into like a a mediumship reading. This is like catching me off guard right now so but with this um okay so let me just take a couple of seconds here yeah so with this balance card i am noticing that um the energy is that it's telling you that you're being reminded to really do your best to balance out the things you need to actually get done, okay? Because for some of you guys, for some of the people in this group, it's that you guys are either playing too much and not taking full responsibility of what you're supposed to be doing. And I know this is a harsh, harsh um, truth. Or maybe, you know, if you are, you know, I'm just a messenger, okay? So whatever I see and what I'm tapping in. So there's, there's a bunch of you guys that are playing not not wanting to see what is there right not wanting to see um or, or procrastinating on the things that you're supposed to be taking care of okay but um there is also another side of the group that really is needing to play and needing to actually um you know really take life a little bit lighter okay maybe after they passed away you really took it upon yourself to take everything on and that wasn't your responsibility all right, that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling and that's what I'm hearing. And um yeah, so this tells me that you're that the energies may have been a bit like really chaotic for you guys in your waking life, okay? Now you're actually dreaming of of your your you know, the celebrity, right? But it's actually your past on loved one being disguised. It's a very twisted kind of maybe that's what they do when they were alive. They like to role play with you, right? Or maybe you guys were like to play in a play a lot, you know, and star in a play. Maybe that's what they're they're trying to show me. I just see a lot of like a lot of character, like a strong characteristics, very strong traits. Okay, um, very can be very dramatic as well. <laughs> um, wow, oh, wow, I can't believe this. So yeah, um, so basically, yeah. So back to back to the the balancing out, you know, the the work and play thing. They're saying that. You know, especially with the storm card, right? They're saying that number four is really about, you know, that that stability, right? And being able to ground yourself. And it's time now to really ground yourself, okay? And that's what you're needing most to do. Um, okay, so let's move forward because we do have a lot of cards here. So we do have a lot of cards here. So let's move. Um, I am being drawn to the, yeah, definitely the Knight of Swords because we're talking about um, you know, taking that responsibility and, and stuff like that. And these are kids and this gentleman here showing these kids something, right? So here we have the Knight of Swords, which can really talk about the air energy. And it, that can pertain to a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, right? A lot of um, thought process or thought space, okay? So as you can see here, um, you have many people here that look like children to me. And we, we were, you know, I tapped into this card, before we get started, right? So the Knight of Swords is really about, um, especially with the children here and this gentleman is trying to communicate or teach the children something important, okay? Um, but this can also be about learning to address and express your opinions too, um, in a way that is not so harsh, okay? Because we're, we're talking about kids are involved. Something about children that's being involved, okay? Um, 
yeah, so it doesn't always have to be about a passed on loved one. It can also be about people that are still here with you that 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 you're responsible for. And sometimes maybe because you are so overworked, the way that you express yourself isn't coming out very nice, right? Oops, sorry. Um, isn't coming out very nicely. And, and maybe you're your um the celebrity is uh, showing you this information um you know if you watch those movies the cheaper by the dozen you know it's a lot of kids right so it's a lot of responsibility and sometimes you can kind of carry our very harsh tone by accident or not intentionally okay so watch your words too because children are watching um i know these are very very serious information but you know i'm a very honest reader and i will always tell you what i see okay um, with that said, though, this is a general reading, so keep that in mind. Take what you resonate with, okay? So um, also with this, I noticed the Knight of Swords, and then you've got the Queen of Swords, right? Uh, moving on because it's the in-between tarot. So the energy right now, you're teaching these kids, okay? And they're moving to the Queen of Swords, understanding. Um, Queen of Cups is talking about that beautiful softness as well, okay? Because the Queen of Swords can sometimes... Um, carry a little bit of sharp tongue like you she can be very very harsh with her words like I said and so when you've got the Queen of Cups here because the Knight of Swords is like a little bit more you know boom 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 here quick information oh wow that just flew <laughs> group number two you guys are amazing so <laughs> Queen of Cups like I said it is about that right it's about you um oh actually what I also picked up too is that there's something about you expressing boundaries, okay? Because the Queen of Sword is really good with keeping boundaries, right? But the Queen of Cups sometimes, if not if not in balance and you're not balancing yourself out because you did get that balance card, can really uh, forget about him or herself and then you become out of balance and you know, you're doing the people pleasing thing and then you don't have that boundary set. So that's what's happening here, okay? That's the message. That's your hidden message from your dream, okay? With that celebrity. Um, and then possibly another twist would be what the passed on loved one disguising themselves as the celebrity. I know that's a very weird scenario, but that came through and I'm just going to tell you how I see it. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're talking about the family, right? We're talking about a tribe, right? So it's a high possibility that maybe in your past life too, or a parallel life, that celebrity was, all, you know, your family and your tribe as well. Okay like your soul family can still that's why we're soul family is that we carry um you know we travel together right and maybe in this lifetime um you know that can be the same but with the celebrity thing i know it's kind of like off topic but that those celebrities that you do see in your dreams have some special messages for you guys through your your family member okay um again what else do i sense here so yeah we were talking about boundaries earlier so you know, when you have your family member that's very comfortable with you guys, um, they can take advantage of certain things, right? Of your kindness and your loving heart, right? Because the Queen of Cups, you know, can still, but she knows her boundaries, right? And she knows with the, with those two energies, with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, you guys know your boundaries or maybe your message is to know your boundaries, right? And um, it's not that your, your family member is taking advantage of you out of malice or anything. It just happens to be that, you know, sometimes people are oblivious. And if they are children, maybe they need to be told that, hey, you know, uh, share their information with them. Because sometimes we want to take on all of that responsibility to ourselves, but we are forgetting that kids are people too. And if you give them the chance to understand something, then they will take the initiative um, as long as you kind of give it to them, right? Trust them to understand it. And if they don't, you can walk them through. And that's the best thing for anybody to learn is if a person's given an opportunity to learn something, then they most likely will move forward with it, right? Um, but if you already decide for that person that, oh, they're not going to understand, obviously they're not going to understand because we didn't give them that opportunity, right? So yes, they are children, and maybe certain things you can tailor your words and your information, but you can still give them the information according to their understanding, okay? And their level of perception. And they, you can expand their level of perception as well. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm honing in 
um, through this message here for you guys, group number two. This is really insane. A really very different kind of message. I never, ever, ever, like even when I took the couple minutes to look at it, um, to kind of see what the difference there, that didn't pop up. It just came through. That was really insane. Um, what else? Oh, okay. So we talked about the play card earlier. Let's see, I'm looking through. Um, I do want to read this to you guys because it's very important. This is an affirmation card, a new deck that I just got for affirmation. Um, when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Synchronicity, right? Synchronicity. Guys, this is, this is insane because when I, oh my gosh. Okay. So when I do the ritual, when it falls out, it falls out, right? So it says here, joyful presence, playing, being playful, play, okay? So a huge group of you guys are way overwhelmed with responsibility in your life, and you are needing to take some time to play. It doesn't have to be, not everything has to be a storm, okay? And you're coming out of that storm, if that's the case. Um, yeah, for sure, because look at the world card. That's a crossing over the threshold, leaving the storm, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Wow. Oh, okay. So now I'm noticing Eight of Keys, the master artisan. Yes. Okay. So group number two, I really do feel that with you being able to actually balance out both energies, right? Because you've got the balance card with the divine feminine and divine masculine. You will actually um, bring forth really auspicious opportunities to you guys, okay? Because when you're playing, um, you know, like this affirmation says... You guys are going to be able to bring forth and attract support from the universe. And that's why Spirit is saying when you allow yourself to be in your inner child. And it's so funny we're talking about inner child because um, if you didn't see the intro, I actually mentioned, I gave a really beautiful shout out to uh, a new friend of mine. But I've been watching her videos and she is really, really good. She does really great content and that's why I'm recommending her. So Queen Sensitivity, if you go to her channel, I will link it down below. Um, she really is uh, in tune with her inner child and you're going to have a lot of fun watching her. Um, she does a lot of storytelling, so I really like that. Um, but back to here, back to your reading, The Master Artisan, okay? Yeah, so it really, you know, this card really talks about gaining that momentum, right? To be able to actually excel and succeed in your work, okay? Because, it, you know, the Eight of Keys is having those beautiful keys actually become a master at something, okay? Yeah, I feel like people are going to notice you guys. Um, you know, that was the initial thing that I actually first saw before I saw the mediumship throughout the reading. So it's also about you actually trusting, um, you know, putting yourself first and starting to actually play a little bit more. Um, maybe bringing in that playful thing into the energy of your workspace as well. Um, if you do work in an office, there are different ways that you can actually, um, you know, utilize and, and tap into your inner child, okay? So that's very highly recommended for you guys, group number two. Um, I'm starting to notice that I didn't talk about this coyote yet. And oh, so cute. Look at so it says, Coyote Revealer of Truth. Don't take things too seriously. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. What? Wow. Okay. That is insane. So another group, because I did group number one, and they also had a very huge synchronicity as well. And I swear to God, I did not do this on purpose. If you've come to this reading, this is, this is your reading. And it's really meant for you to see this. And... It's so beautiful. I love the fact that spirit is always kind of placing clues, right? <laughs> what are the chances of these cards coming out in the same friggin' pile? I'm so shook. Like, okay, so <laughs> even though I've been doing this for a while, I've been like reading for people and reading for you guys for a while, but I, I swear to God, it never ceases to amaze me. It's so insane. So great wisdom comes from laughing. Yes, I was just laughing at your own folly, okay? <laughs> so if you fall down or make a mistake on something, like how I stumble on my words, right? Don't take it too seriously, guys. If you're presenting a presentation or something, don't take it too seriously. Put your inner child in 
at the forefront, right? And really allow the inner child to really shine because you'd be surprised. Most adults really do crave that moment and, and that embodiment, okay? We all do. And that's why I've created this channel here. Uh, you know, if you notice my thumbnails, right? I always make sure that I have really playful colors because that's what I want you guys to see. I want you guys to be able to tap into your inner child, okay? Um, so look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. So if you do, you know, if you... Oh, you know, it really correlates to the storm card here. So for another scenario, there's a lot of scenarios going on here. So for number two, another scenario for you guys is that if you have had people that is part of your family member that has been tricking you on something or, or being a sly about something, right? And, and being sneaky because coyotes can hide, you know, in the woods, right? And you won't be able to see them. Um, but what I'm saying is, this energy here, if you do have people like that in your life, then you need to be able to have that boundary, okay? Like I said earlier, this boundary, right? The Knight of Swords moving into the Queen of Swords with the Queen of Cups energy, all right? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, okay, so I almost missed this tea leaf here. So these are some characteristics that your celebrity may embody. Um, angelic, right? Or maybe the celebrity's name is Angel. Um, older man and man, Okay, with that, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to also bring out your charm. So stay, stay right here. All right, group number two. So I've written out some characteristics and genres that may pertain to the celebrity that you are seeing in your dreams. Okay, remember, it's a general reading. So keep in mind. And then I will pull out the zodiac sign and some initials. All right. So let's go for this. Right now, I'm going to close my eyes. Spirit, please help guide group number two and give them confirmations and validations. Wow, you guys got a lot. All right. And then some ch charms. Ooh, wow, that is a lot. Okay. <laughs> this is a big group. I, yeah, you guys, no wonder there's a lot of scenarios because a lot of people are going to pick number two, I'm very sure. All right. So let's see what we've got here. So there's a news anchor or someone playing a news anchor that's celebrity, right? Or it could be a news anchor that you're thinking about in your dream, okay? And that came through like a real news anchor. Now, it could be action movies that celebrity um, plays in an action movie. Or maybe that's what you do um, with your sibling, you know? And then cartoons, yes? Kids. Wow, this actually came out with this group because the children. You see the synchronicity, like insane synchronicities for you guys, okay? This is crazy. And when I say crazy, it's a good thing. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the no hair really reminds me of the Avatar. <laughs> Maybe the Avatar movie or show. Maybe someone's been binge watching the Avatar because I know I have been. Maybe this is my mom. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else you have here. Fairy tales. Okay, yeah, definitely. This is the kids group with the kids. Wow. Rated R movies. Okay, maybe uh, the other side is is definitely not the 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 kids group, right? Okay, and then celebrity that played in the rated R movies a lot. Um, radio disc jockey. So maybe um you know if you are in um New England. You know, there are different disc jockeys here, too, for the radio. All right, so, and then you've got long hair. So the character, uh, the celebrity may have long hair, guy or girl, right? Because we all can have short or long hair either way. Um, comedy, right? Maybe someone played in, in a comedy show or they are a comedian or a stand-up comedy person, you know? Anyway, so let's move forward because we've got a lot here, okay? So you've got the letter T, the letter F, the letter M as in Mary, Z as in zebra, O as in operation, Q as in queen, D as in uh, dog, E as in elephant, K as in kangaroo, <laughs> and as in Nancy, um, Cancerian, right? The zodiac sign Cancerian, this Aquarius. So this can pertain to you or to the celebrity that you see, okay? And then you've got the another, um, actually Sagittarius. And you've got the Pisces. Oh, a lot of Pisces, actually. There's two Pisces here. You've got Taurus. You've got the letter Z again. Um, Virgo. E as an elephant again. P 
And then you've got, I think this is the Gemini. Yep, Gemini. And then Q as in Queen, okay? So with that said, group number two, I really did enjoy this reading for you guys. And for those who have the passed down loved ones that came through, I'm giving you guys a very big, huge virtual hug, okay? I understand. I've lost a lot of people too, and I understand that. And um, with that, you know, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, okay? Um, I know I'm like trans, I'm, I'm like a news anchor, right? <laughs> like going from one emotional roller coaster to the next. But I really do want to mention this part because, you know, I want to help as many people as possible. So if you do enjoy this reading and you'd like to be part of our family, feel free, come, um, you know, uh, come join our family here, okay? So it's totally free and it will definitely help my channel to grow. And that's my main goal. So feel free to like, share, and comment down below as well because I really do love interacting with you guys. Um, you know, that's really me interacting with you guys. So with that said, you know, go check out Queen Sensitivity. Um, you know, her, her link is down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, hi guys. So if you picked out this time stamp, it is for group number three. Yes, hi. Thanks for joining me here, group three. Okay, so basically group three, the topic is why do some celebrities come into your dreams? Your hidden messages, okay? Now, just to let you guys know, I did take a peek at the first card because I feel like I needed to switch things up a little bit. And I'm not the best at celebrity information. So I was like, you know what? I really need to, I did channel in the images through my mind, like which uh, celebrity I saw, and then just went ahead and look into which movies they starred in. So that's how I did it. Um, but also I was tapping into this beautiful mermaid here. So there were some things that I D, um, I D, I did see through my mind's eye that correlated to this mermaid. So um, for me, I believe, if I can remember correctly, let's see, uh, Fiona and the unicorn, the gift of sacred sight, right? And then to me, with sacred sight is you having the spirituality or the spiritual level of being able to see with your naked eye um, elementals, right? And here it says unicorn. So, you know, I never dismiss anything, but when I tap into this card right here, it really talks about like the mystical, the enchantment, you know, um, and when I saw uh, the mermaid, it really led me to this movie here, okay? So let me just let you know now. Okay, so basically, yeah. So remember though, this is a general reading. So um, even if it's not, the characters aren't here, that the celebrity that you saw in your dream isn't here, they may have something in common that's leading you to this pile, okay? So the movie Splash, it's a very old one because I am an 80s baby. So, um, but Tom Hanks is one of my favorite, favorite celebrity. And he actually played as the gentleman that was helping the mermaid, right? And um, Daryl Hannah, um, is the the character the celebrity that played the, the the mermaid in this splash movie now when I tapped into Daryl Hannah I also saw the movie Kill Bill which is um, it's a really gory movie but it was such a good movie I love action movies I love all sorts of movies so to me, I can watch almost anything except for boring ones, okay? But I also love independent films. So for me, when I was able to channel Tom Hanks from here, I went into what he played in. And I remember that movie I saw a long time ago, which is Splash. And then Daryl Hannah came through. And that's when I was like, okay, who are the cast and stuff? So it says, Ron Howard, John Candy. And with this other movie, right, I was able to see Uma Thurman. And I love Uma, especially... You know, in a lot of her other films, um, I'm, I mean, I like Batman, although I watched the Batman movies, but like I literally saw um, Uma in a different movie, but for here, she was Poison Ivy, okay? So Uma Thurman, and then who played Batman? George Clooney, Alicia Silverstone, uh, Val Kilmer, Chris O'Donnell, Arnold Schwarzenegger was in that Batman and Robin movie. So maybe those are the the celebrities that came through into your dream. Um, they don't have to be, but they may carry some kind of physical trait or like characteristic traits that you, um, you can correlate to the celebrity that you see. But this is not about them. This is about the hidden messages as to why you're seeing them, okay? So again, Fiona the Unicorn, okay? So something about embracing, um, you know, the enchantment of life. Okay, so but so let's take a look at these together. Um, all right, so let's see here. Boom, bitch file. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. Okay, number three already? Wow, number three, you guys are very potent, right? Okay, so, I mean, you may be, uh, you know, a fire sign because this match, this light here, okay? So, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. Yes, number 16, okay? So, hidden messages coming through with the celebrity that you're seeing here. Um, pay attention to the signs, number 10. In between tarot is a nine of swords, moving on to the ten of swords, okay? So, nine of swords, oh, actually, let me just put this here. So Nine of Swords is talking about sleepless nights, right? Um, worry, a lot of mental, a lot of mental chatter, um, but we'll see. Judgment, okay? So you're feeling some kind of inner calling, and that really correlates to the pay attention to the signs card. Um, number two, coming together. So group three, if you see any numbers here, please take it upon yourself. Like I said, if you've been following me for a while, if you've seen the angel numbers, look them up. So, King of Wands, yes. Wow. Okay, that's very strong. Oh, and King of Wands is a fire sign. So, maybe you're a fire sign or the um, celebrity is a fire sign. Nature, number 18. Okay. Somebody's needing to tap into nature here. Seven of Roses, the journey. Okay. All right. I will take a couple of minutes to take a look at the energies that's here and the different scenarios, and I can talk about it with you. I honor how I want to feel. So this affirmation, and then your tea leaf is a bow you're highly thought of. Wow. And maybe that celebrity is very well known, and that's why that card came out, right? Fair man. So maybe the celebrity um, has characteristics just like this character here. Um, and a handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. So... A lot of, um, I believe Splash, right, is the movie that I would correlate this card to, I think. I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen this, so. But, and then Dragon um, Supernatural. Wow, I actually just did a Dragon Pick a Card. I swear, I kid you not. Like, I'm not putting this in to talk about the other one. <laughs> I, this is so funny. So, Dragon, so something about the um, mystical you know, signs and symbols and stuff that you're, you're starting to take notice of and you're starting to believe in magic in some, in some ways. And that's amazing because you're starting to see behind the veil. Okay. A lot of you guys are starting to see more and more. Um, maybe, maybe your, um, your spiritual abilities are being heightened and being advanced. So you are the ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. So literally, um, you can go into my channel in the main page and you can find this dragon pick a card. I just did it last week. So I'm going to put this here and don't worry, I will bring up the card to show you guys. But uh, I will take a couple of minutes to make sure that I can sense all of the scenarios here. And we'll talk about it in a few seconds, okay? I'll see you in a second. Okay, group number three. So I am drawn to this new deck here that I, I just got, right? So Fiona and the Unicorn. See, it's the, that one. Yeah, so, whew, okay, so like group number three, I've been, you know, I really do feel, like I said, these characters, right, and in, in here, it really, it kind of gives me the idea that you guys are, you're becoming more aware of, like, things that are more magical, right, and um, maybe you resonate with unicorns a lot, or maybe it's a unicorn movie or a unicorn cartoon that you've been uh, being drawn to, or maybe you saw a unicorn in your dream, right? Or dragons. Um, excuse me. Actually, let me talk about the dragons because I feel like there's something there too. Um, so it says you're supernatural. So you guys notice that in the spread, right? There are lots of magical beings here. Okay. There's something about you that wants to become more expressed. That's what I'm sensing. And when it comes to the supernatural side of you, now that you are being, um, a little bit more, you know, accepting of it right and that I think that's a really good word for that um like accepting of understanding that dragons and unicorns exist in a different plane right and they're very powerful and they're very abundant okay um so that means that they both all the both entities came into your reading here so there's something that is switching up for you abundance and power is going to come to you um because power with the bitch fire stand up for yourself so maybe you have been kind of 
um, putting yourself in the back burner, right? Because of the fire here and the king of wands. So you stepping into more of your masculine side, right? The side that like is, is extra, like you can still be empowered in both divine feminine and divine masculine. But when it comes to certain things like standing up for yourself, to be honest, I have to admit that the masculine energy can kind of give that intimidating factor a little bit more um, in my personal experience, but that doesn't mean that you that you are not letting or allowing or that your feminine, your divine feminine is any lesser than, right? Because you, see the thing is, in my opinion, right, and from what I've learned is that spirit has created these two different uh, embodiment for a reason. The um, You cannot deny a feminine um, side of you, right? You cannot deny the feminine, divine feminine aspect of you. And neither can you deny the other side of you that is more masculine, okay? So both sides play certain roles in your own embodiment. So it's okay to embrace one or the other or both at the same time um, as you feel fit, as you see fit. Because when you want to be more out, like, um, action oriented, right? And they would correlate that to being more masculine, divine masculine, getting things done without being too flowy, right? Because with the uh, divine feminine, we correlate that energy to the more of like a flowy energy, sometimes a little bit, uh, not a little bit, but like we're so creative that we just kind of want to do everything all at once. Whereas the masculine can do things one at a time and still, well, maybe do it, maybe, Putting it that way may not be exactly uh, the truth, but you know, from what, if I can express it properly here. So basically backtrack. So with a divine masculine, you can actually get things done, but they're more focused, right? And they're able to kind of get one thing at a time done very easily. Whereas when you are more flowy, right? Or too flowy, if you're not balanced, because both sides can be balanced or imbalanced, right? So, but from what I've seen, because the creative side of the divine feminine can be overpowering at times, sometimes you need that container, like when the container of a masculine embodiment that, that, that masculine embodiment can provide. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I learned. And it is so true. And I'm, I can attest to that. So because I'm a lot of divine feminine where I really want to do everything all at once. And I'm just like, focus, child, focus. But I just sometimes have a hard time focusing, just like now. <laughs> so, okay, so basically, back to the dragon supernatural, right? So this is really telling me that you are being able to really tap into more of your masculine side. And that's why you're dreaming about these characters here. Um, or, or the celebrity that you've been seeing is because maybe they embody more of that masculine side that you've been wanting to embody, right? That's a high possibility too. Um, but I did notice that you have the journey card over here. And with the journey card, actually, let me take this. So with this journey card here, I have a feeling part of the reason why you are guided to come to the celebrity dream reading is because your spiritual gifts are coming through, um, you know, uh, through the light, right? Because a lot of times, like I said earlier, it's like, pay attention to the signs. So you're getting all these different signs and, and you're going on a journey, a spiritual journey, okay? And that's why Spirit has asked you to come to this video here to understand that you don't have to be afraid of the things that you're seeing. You don't have to be, you're not crazy, okay? Um, uh, if you are of sound mind and you are, you know, of course, I am not a doctor, so you, you know, this is, this video is for entertainment purposes, but at the same time, it's also for spiritual growth, right? Because everything exists all at once, but it's really depending on what you believe in. With that said though, you know, I am not a doctor, so go check out whatever ailments you may think you have because, you know, I'm not here to diagnose anything. But with this card, it's saying that you are going on a spiritual journey and that is what you're going through. Um, maybe even in your dreams, you're constantly on a journey, right? You seem to be and for some of you, I do notice that you have been dreaming about ships as well, because this card really depicts that energy of like back then, right? Maybe it's a it's a Pirates of the Caribbean movie, right? And I didn't write that down now, but I'm just channeling in now through this card. So 
the characters that are in those movies or, or in, in that depiction, you can look up and you can see what is it about that that actually gives you a clue about your subconscious, right? Because remember, if you've been following me for a long time, if you haven't seen my intro, I did mention that I'm a huge advocate for keeping dream journals because that really gives me a lot of answers later on. And I totally recommend for you to do that, okay? Group number three. So with that said, um, I do feel like, let's see, with the ship, with nature, being more with the water, because I'm thinking about water. So you've been dreaming a lot about water or maybe seeing signs or images in water a lot. You may even be able, you're one of, okay, I just, I just got this. So basically scrying, um, scrying is basically a form of divination and you are able to see visually through water um, as if it's a mirror, okay? And so to do that, you can look up online how to do that properly. I know how to do that, but it's just going to take a lot of, anyway, so, you know, maybe in future videos, but this is a tarot reading video. So, so you can look that up on YouTube. I totally recommend that they have, you know, today's day and age, they have, we have a lot of information for free. Okay. So look up scrying, um, one of your spiritual gifts, right? And so far, I noticed that every single video, um, every single pile that I've been recording lately with for this video has been very different. And it's really getting me like, I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. Oh, okay. So <laughs> see how I'm telling you, like I, I get like distracted sometimes, but okay. So with this, right. And maybe you do have that aspect of you that maybe I am tapping into your own energy, right? Your energy where you are always thinking about uh, a thousand things at the same time and you get distracted really easily. And maybe this is a way for you to kind of ground yourself, right? Ground yourself, just like the four of wands, but this is the king of wands. So being able to really be that character, that main character for yourself to be able to bring, you know, hone in that ground, that energy for yourself, okay? Now, for some of you, I did get that you guys are actually thinking about traveling, and you've been wanting to do that, but someone's telling you not to travel, right? And here, Spirit is saying there's something about your travel that's very important. Maybe you guys are supposed to travel, right? Who knows? Um, take what you resonate with, okay? But always act up. You are your own magician. You can, you know, don't take my advice for it or Spirit's advice. Take your own advice. Whatever you feel in your gut, right? That bitch fire inside your soul, uh, solar plexus chakra, feel that and, and go with it, right? Um, what else here? <laughs> Excuse me. I just ate dinner. So, okay. So, or supper, whatever you call that. Um, okay. Uh, let me see here. What else? So we talked about seven of roses, nature. And then earlier I was looking down and I noticed a judgment card. Okay. So with the judgment card, which is really indicative of feeling and healing, healing. Oh, maybe you can heal, right? I don't, I don't take things lightly here. I'm um, just kidding. So maybe you can heal. And that's why I have said that. So, um, <laughs> so maybe you're hearing, maybe your clear audience ability is coming through, right? And your dream, the celebrity, um, maybe it's a movie about a, a person who has like multiple uh, spiritual abilities, things like that, right? Okay. Um, what else? So with the, um, with the judgment card though, it's a, it's speaking or touching base on a huge emphasis on, um, divine touching base and huge emphasis. Come on, Chai. So divine intervention. Okay. So spirit and your guys are actually implementing these celebrities into your dream, right? The characters, because they really want you to look into understanding the signs that you've been seeing and um because there's something coming uh to help you in the near future and that's what i'm getting right now and um it has to do with your life purpose because with the judgment card it's the north node okay a lot of times it's about your inner calling you waking up um a reincarnation kind of thing like you waking up to a new whole new world okay which is basically the node, um, you know, the North node is the node that acts as a guiding North star for you guys, for all of us, right? For your, and we each have our own North node, okay? So pay attention to the signs here. And Nine of Swords, you know, this is a very different kind of depiction of Nine of Swords because usually it's about 
um, you know, the person being worried in bed and, and not being able to sleep. But this one is more of like nine of swords moving towards the ten of swords. And the ten of swords is when um, the person has been, you know, slayed, right? So um, what I'm gathering from this here, it's, it's really you are reluctant to move forward with your inner calling, right? Your judgment, uh, because you don't know what's on the other side, right? Um, maybe you are supposed to be moving abroad because look at this, the journey. I, I just got this in. So some of you guys that has picked pile number three, you guys are, has been called to move abroad outside of the country or even across um, the states, but it's further out than you expect or anticipated and you're getting nervous because you're afraid that what if this person that I'm following or or what if this this new place that I'm moving to will basically be the end of me, right? The 10 of swords, right? Because the nine of swords moving to the 10 of swords. So that's what I'm saying. Like you have to understand that you have the ability to really see what's there for you coming together. Okay, what's really there for you? What is, look for the signs for help, right? Maybe my video is probably a sign for you as well. Who knows? So with that though, that's what I just saw. And I keep looking back at the bitch fire, which stand up for yourself. So it really does talk about you. Maybe there's an inner calling, you know, some kind of career change. And in your dream, these celebrities are showing you how to be a lot stronger, right? Uh, Nine of Swords. Wow. Yeah. Insane. So, and then what I'm feeling is, um, I think I already read this one for you guys, but I'll read it again. I honor how I want to feel, right? Um, maybe there are some people that are kind of gaslighting you and saying that you're not feeling this way. You're feeling that way. But you know what you feel. You know what you you are embodying at this moment. And it's okay to feel the things that you feel. We are entitled to that as a, you know, a full sovereign being, right? You may not feel like that. Sometimes you feel like you have soul shards everywhere and your soul is a little bit broken. But, you know, you're not. You're fully empowered and you are in power, okay? It's coming together for you. Something is happening um, your heart chakra, you're also having, um, there's harmony coming through because number two is talking about balance. It's talking about, um, cause balance is basically equaling to equating to, um, healing and equating to, um, harmony, right? Like I said, so there's some beautiful tempering here. Um, what else? I honor how I want to feel. You want to feel like the king of wands. You want to feel like you are worthy, right? Maybe you're asking someone, you're, maybe you're asking someone to come through to meet you midway or halfway or come to where you live, right? And they live abroad and you are asking them, hey, how do you feel about me? Do you want a future together? Do you feel passionate enough to make this move for me, right? Stand up for what you want, right? Um, yeah, that's crazy. So there's a lot of different energies. This is a general reading, so I'm tapping into a lot of different ones. Um, what else? Yeah. Whew. Okay. So with, cause I, uh, spirit is saying, look at the card that you wrote. So basically with this card here, right? And I was looking at the King of Wands. And I know it's not the same kind of like genre, right? If you're looking at it, if you're looking at the illustration here, it's definitely more of like Egyptian times uh, mixed in with like Renaissance times. And it was just like, it's just, but the beard really reminds me of the Egyptian times. Um, but maybe that's what you're dreaming. You're dreaming about your past life during the Egyptian times, who knows? But I was actually guided to actually tap into the character of Bruce Wayne, right? So your spirit guides have shown me this picture of Bruce Wayne. And this could be a trigger for you guys. So three, two, one. All right. So basically, and this may not be something that happened to you. 
Um, maybe you can kind of resonate a little bit of the storyline be behind Bruce Wayne, how he was witnessed, he was a witness to um, his parents' demise, right? Or his parents, you know, murder. Um, if I could say that on, on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so basically Bruce Wayne basically became this quote unquote, uh, he's not quite a vigilante. Like he's more of like, he works for the people. He does really good things, but he also kind of messes up the town too sometimes. So I guess he is a vigilante, but he had a choice at that point in time, you know, and he started into his journey to become Batman. In the beginning, he wanted the revenge, but then he started beginning to really love helping people. And that's what he did. He chose just like you, right? You may feel like you've been wronged. And this may be another part of this group because I, I do catch on a lot of different resonance here. A lot of um, different, you know, scenarios of you, of this group, number three. Now, for the group of this group, for this group that resonates with being betrayed and you feel like you want to really just stoop as low as they did. And just like Bruce Wayne, where he could have stooped really low, but he worked his ass off and really became one of the most richest um, aristocrat in that town, right? And then he, with his resources, he's able to do more for the people and more for himself. So now I'm thinking, okay, is this a message for them? Maybe you guys are in that really bitch fire mode where it has kind of gone a little bit awry, right? Or a little bit astray where the fire is too hot to handle and you want to become a bad person or you want to be take retaliation or something and this is your spirit team asking you to calm down it's okay everything will work out and karma will will work things out for them and give you what you deserve and you have to trust that. You have to trust the universe because this here, judgment is also trusting the universe, okay? It, it is also about that. It's about you doing the trust fall, okay? Just like these people must have done the trust fall and fell into their coffin here, but then they woke back up because the divine has woken them back up and carried them through, right? And, and really they trusted. And now they see that they can become a better person, than they were. Everybody has room to grow, right? And I don't know, I feel like I'm embodying some kind of teacher. Maybe there are teachers watching here. <laughs> so yeah, and you know, I'm just a messenger. So this, if I offend anybody, I do apologize, okay? But I'm just saying this is something that is coming through. Like spirit is asking you to become a better version of yourself and not let the things that you went through to become a bitter person, to become a very tainted person. Okay. Because you're not, that's not your soul. Your soul is very beautiful. It's full of love in your heart chakra. And if you have been feeling something within your, your heart, you feel like, Oh, maybe like I can become better. This is a sign for you. Okay. Oh, I'll pick that up later. So yeah. So basically group number Three, I feel like you guys really have a lot of like insane energies here um, in a good way. There's just a lot of like huge, there's no middle ground. It's almost like there's an extreme high and extreme low. Um, but let me show you here. Now you've got bow, right? The bow, the red bow, the special bow. You are highly thought of, okay? Yes, there have been people who has hurt you in the past. But look, there are plenty of people who respect you, okay? Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Something's happening. I told you, right? You're going to be able to be helped and guided, okay? Uh, maybe with a, uh, a man that has fair skin, or maybe he looks like this, very similar to it. Who knows? But I'm not saying go trust any person that comes by, right? Go with your gut, guys. Go with your gut. So with that, um, wow. So basically, your reading is very, like... Ooh, it's just a lot of healing. You, you guys definitely need a lot of healing. So let's see what comes through. Um, but the celebrity, I know this was about the celebrity, but it's also about the dream. But it's it's mainly about the hidden messages through your dreams with the, the characters that you see in your, your dream. So let's see what else to confirm, right? Group number three, hold on one second. I'm going to clean this up and I'll see you in a second. 
All right, group three. So we're back here with your charms jar, okay? So I wrote these attributes and, um, you know, genres to kind of confirm, um, to kind of match up with the celebrity that you've been seeing. And then we'll pull out some charms here. All right, group three. Let's see what you've got here. Have my eyes closed and... Wow, okay. So some letters and some zodiac, oh, sorry about that. Some zodiac signs. Eyes closed and boom. All right, okay. So to confirm, scary movies. Yeah, just like that, uh, that nine of, you know, swords, right? It's been, Maybe you've been binge watching scary movies a lot or the character that you see, the celebrity, usually plays in a scary movie, okay? Well, I think you guys, number three, you guys will have one of the most serious situation here in terms of like healing, okay? Uh, medium toned uh, skin, okay? So you got the fair man earlier and now medium toned skin. So maybe the character or the celebrity that you've been seeing has the skin tone. And then you've got kid star, so a child um, or a kid's show or a character that is very important in a kid's show or, you know, something like that. Okay, Whew. very intense energies. I think you guys were one of the most intense. Fair skin again, somebody with fair skin's coming through, guys. So that's the character, okay? or someone that's coming through to help you has either medium skin tone or fair skin. And then a singer, maybe you've been seeing uh, a celebrity singer in your dream, okay? With that skin tone. And then you've got boy, boy band, okay? K-pop probably, <laughs> boy band or stand-up comedy. Okay, so somebody, uh, a celebrity that does stand-up comedy, or maybe that's what you do, and do you want to travel doing that, right? Who knows? Anything goes, right? And someone has a beard. All right, I think that other picture, someone had a beard too. I don't know. But anyway, so let's grab your zodiac signs and your letters. <gasps> oh, I thought there was an E, but I was going to say love. So L, two L's. You've got a V for Victor, O for, hmm, orange, <laughs> K for Kristen, uh, a Leo sign, right? H for hot, I for igloo or independent, right? Um, I believe this one is, yes, a Virgo. And then you've got the letter U, okay, group number three. So with that said, please don't um, forget to give it a big thumbs up, okay? I really enjoyed doing this reading for you guys. It was very intense, um, but at the same time, I really think that you guys needed to hear that one. And I'm a very honest reader, so I don't hold back when it comes to my messages. Not in the way that, you know... When I know that it's very extra important, I'm definitely going to say it. So um, with that said, though, come join our amazing family here, okay, where I do empowering and in interesting pick a card for you guys um, so that you got that you can actually shine your unique light with, um, you know, what you see and what you learn. And, you know, feel free to comment down below because I also love to learn new things, too. So I do love to interact with you guys. And it's totally free if you subscribe and it'll definitely help my channel to grow. Um, you know, because that's my main goal is to help a lot of people too. So with that said, um, also, if you didn't watch the intro, I did uh, do a really beautiful ch uh, shout out to a friend of mine uh, that really does really great readings too. And she has her own little vibey section in her own uh, corner there. So you can check her out. Her name is Queen Sensitivity. She has a dream video out. Um, she actually had it out last week. So Check her out. It's in the description down below, okay? Take care, guys. See you next time. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me here. If you picked out this timestamp, it is for group number four. Yes, hi. Thanks for joining me, group four. So, okay. So, I want to let you guys know that I have been doing this particular video very differently from what I normally do. I have to take a look at one of this card here, right, for your pile. And it's the same cards that you saw at the intro um, where the pick pile is. So basically I tapped into this pendant here, right? It's a beautiful, gorgeous pendant. 
um, and also looked at this card here so that I can channel more information in terms of why do some celebrities come into your dreams, your hidden messages, okay? And I was able to write something down on, on this beautiful flower card here. Um, now, with this, I do sense a lot of empowerment, okay? Um, so let's see what we've got here. So you've got Artemis of the Forest. Now you are independent and free. Number 32, look that up, okay, guys? So what I have found out through um, initially... Um, I actually saw Goddess Diana, right, with looking at the Artemis because the Goddess Diana is basically, um, in the Roman times, they correlate that to Artemis, okay? So, I mean, you'll notice that a lot of different cultures were, will have different names for the same goddess if that's what they, you know, I mean, don't quote me on that, okay, because I'm not like a a cultural di um, connoisseur dinosaur connoisseur <laughs> sorry about that so anyways back to from my rant so basically when i tap into this pendant here um i was able to gather a lot of a very empowering women of color okay and i'm so honoring this beautiful embodiment here all right so what i got right is Artemis, goddess Diana, daughter of Zeus and Leto, uh, or Leto, Diana Ross, I got from this pendant, Oprah, right, Angela Bassett, um, Haley Berry, um, Tina Turner, I've got Rosario Dawson, Zendaya came through, because I've been watching a lot of the euphoria, and her face came through in my mind's eye, so I had to write her down, obviously, because I really love her, uh, and then Cynthia, um, she's from the movie Harriet, right? A Revo. So, and then with Tina Turner, the movie, um, I, I found out because I did cross reference this information with, with, um, what was online. Cause you know, I'm, I have to admit, I don't really know a lot about different celebrities, but, you know, when I found one person, it led to a whole tree and branches of celebrities that correlated to this pendant here. And that was amazing. Um, so, and I'm a very honest, you know, a reader. So I'm going to let you know. So Tina Turner movie, um, Ike Turner, right? Who played um, Lawrence Fishburne. Okay. So with that said, also, I did finish um, this other show that, that really led me to thinking about Artemis and Goddess Diana. So I had to write it down. It's called The Discovery of Witches. I'm not advertising for them. I forgot which, I forgot, was I think it was either Disney Plus or, I know it's not Netflix, but it's one of those, right, programs. And um, Teresa Palmer played Diana, and she's like a very powerful witch. So there's something about being a, tapping into your own ancestor and ancestral energies. You guys are really fully, um, what do you call this? A culmination of like a lot of different elements. And it's very apparent here that you hold a lot of power in your own rights, in your own soul, okay? Because Goddess Diana is no, you know, no one to play with, okay? So Artemis of the forest. So basically, let's see here. But it says here, now you are independent and free. And that's why I was able to kind of um, channel in these uh, beautiful, empowered uh, actors and actresses here. Because if you read up on their stuff, they have gone through so much to become who they are now, okay? So with that said, let's re uh, look at these together. Um, so I had to look at that. But let's see here. Number 27, we, wow, we were just talking about the discovery of witches, and that is insane. Now, you don't have to, because I know um, you could be a different kind of witch as well, and I did get the name Scarlet. So if you are, if your name is Scarlet, Scarlet, just look into your, um, your, I don't know why, I just heard Scarlet, so look into your heritage and see if you have something with being a witch or anything like that. Okay. And write it down in the comments if that's you, um, which justice is coming. Okay. So there's some kind of injustice. Um, wow. Wow. That's crazy. So that is crazy how that correlated to what Tina Turner went through. Well, a lot of them did, right? <laughs> 
I'm shook. Like my, my, you can't see my goosebumps, but, um, five of swords. So there was some kind of feud and someone actually took advantage of you because that, you know, really tells me, you know, cause this is, this is definitely the justice card to me. Um, wild number 15. Oh, I love that red dress. Look at that. So pretty. Sorry about the glare, guys, because the way I angled the camera today is just kind of weird, but it's the best way I know how to do today. Journal, right? And it always kind of switches up and changes for me for some reason. But that's my life, right? The lightning bolt. Eight of four. <laughs> when we were just talking about that, the change, right? The lightning bolt. Wow. It's almost like the tower car. So some kind of surprise is coming through for you guys. And that's probably why you're seeing these celebrities here, okay? Simply love. In between tarot. All right, so Janine's deck. So six of wands. So success is coming through. And then it says the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Okay. I don't know how that correlates to this, but we'll see. The magician. Having fun manifesting maybe. That's probably it. Um, Your tea leaf would be younger man. So uh, maybe that's the character. I didn't really see a younger man in this in this. Um, uh, you know, cross-referencing on the, uh, my vision and the internet. I didn't see that, but you know, women, maybe that's what you're seeing, right? Younger man and a woman and an older woman. All right. And then your spirit. Yes. Oh my gosh. You got the cat. Maybe this is my path. So cat independent, you are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with a crowd. Life supports you in every way. Okay. Okay, so this is another intense reading. <laughs> wow. Um, you know, I, I should have known, right? Especially with the pendant and, and the card. So, okay, um, I'm going to take a couple of minutes, like per usual, because, you know, I'm not a fast channeler. I have to admit that, and that's okay, because, you know, everybody channel differently, right? And I'm embracing myself. So <laughs> with that, I'm going to take about a couple of minutes to go ahead and really, really see all of the different scenarios. And then I'll meet you back in a few seconds. All right, group number four. So basically we did touch base on the main card here that I looked at um, initially. So Artemis, right? And then I realized that when I touched this card earlier, we were talking about how, how my life was changing, um, you know, or has many different rifts in the river, right? And that's how, maybe that's what your life is like. And that's probably why I was guided to talk about that. Um, but your dream and why you're seeing these celebrities, these really empowering uh, women of color, right? And you don't have to be a woman of color because I, I did see, you know, other cultures too that I wrote down here. But the main idea of this and the main message is that you guys really do hold that beautiful lightning bolt inside of you. You can create and, and you know, really shift things for you for yourself, okay? In a major way because you guys hold this beautiful lightning bolt, right? Look at this. Look at how this Im imagery. You've got the lightning bolt and then you've got the magician. And if this was up top here, you would be seeing that the magician is the one who's creating that lightning bolt. Oops, sorry, I didn't realize that the video was like, so you are the one who can actually do that to change up your life, okay? So this is about <sighs> detaching also, maybe detaching and learning how to grow your own self, your own personality, your own, not to say that you don't have your own, per you have them. That's okay, scratch that part, but you know, the part, well, take what you resonate with, right? You have to be honest with yourself to be honest, okay? So whatever it is that maybe you feel a little bit too malleable and you feel like maybe you, you're you like a clay and you're still kind of moldable, right? But how you or who you allow to mold you is very important as well, okay? I don't know why I had to say that. Maybe um, a couple of you guys are still very young in age here on earth. Um, maybe you're under 18 and you want to really be very mindful about who you hang out with, okay? That's an, one message that came through with your spread. And I see this with my mind's eye through the energy, through these cards. Um, but it also means that there's something else here. Um, maybe you're in a relationship that's been tying you down and you feel like that person isn't good for you. And now, 
take what you resonate with. I'm not saying that your partner is not. If you are hitched up and you have a partner, um, I'm not saying that your partner is, you know, go ahead and go break up with them. No, it's saying if you resonate with this energy, then it's your your message, okay? But if you have a great partner, don't go breaking up now. So with that said, I know I'm, I'm not trying to make light of the situation, but it was just kind of, it was kind of funny. So, okay, so basically back to the eight of forces, group number four, the reason why you may be seeing these characters in your dream is because um, you may be holding back in some shape or form and you're, you may be worried that a surprise might happen to you to shake up the, um, the energy, right? Because in a way, have you heard of that saying, you may be the group that actually is afraid of success, right? And that's a huge um, possibility as well. Or, and if maybe the word afraid is not a good word to use, but maybe you are reluctant, right? I like to use that word a lot um, to really simply be yourself, simply love yourself and simply allow yourself to go a little bit more than um, what you've been letting yourself to be, right? Maybe this conflict right here is not with anybody else but yourself, Um because Five of Swords can also talk about confliction of the thought, um, negative thought patterns as well. Because Five is change, Five is conflict. It's the energy of numerology for this for this number. Um, but it can also depict that you're afraid to lose the upper hand in some situation. And you're afraid to, uh, maybe you are, yeah. Okay, let me actually just, hold on one second. Let me put these down and take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what I'm seeing here, okay? Simply love and the wild card. Yeah. All right. So, this is kind of a weird take on what I just saw in your energy here. But when I see the simply love, and a lot of people will probably read it as, you know, just simply give love or, or, um, but what I saw was that sometimes it's not about things being so simple, right? It's not as easy as they want to make, to make it look like, right? Um, so what I'm saying is, Sometimes it's not about how to win, right? Because you did have the six of wands. So this conflict, okay? Because you do have this conflict card here, number five of swords. In order to win, sometimes you have to meet the, the energy where it is at. Say, for example, if the energy is very wild, sometimes you have to allow yourself to become and embody that energy in order to see the perspective, in order to find the answers to deal with that entity or energy, okay? I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what came through. Um, sometimes, say for example, take for, for an example, if a bully comes towards you, right? And I'm not saying to go ahead and do this, right? I'm just saying, just for example, and you want it to stop, but you keep asking that person to stop bullying you, right? But they keep bullying you. Sometimes it's best to go find your older brother or sister who can beat the crap out of them. No, just kidding. So sometimes, <laughs> so sometimes it is better to actually stand up for yourself, but in a very smart way, okay? But what I'm saying is, It's good to actually find someone who is really wise about the situation to help you as well because it just feels like you want independence, okay? It just feels like you want this independence and you want to win. And like I said, matching the energy, right? Like I said, the example of that bully, if you don't find help, to find somebody who has or match a very similar energy, but in working for the light to help you, right? Like a just, uh, like a judge, right? Because justice is coming. If you don't look for help or look for an attorney or look for some kind of, or a cop or someone to help you, 
and you can't do it alone, it's okay to go find somebody else to help you. And it's not your fault that they got their karma. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but that makes sense to me. And that's what I got through these cards. Um, so, okay, so basically the wild card, right? So after we talked about the finding help and stuff, so with this wild card here, right? You allowing yourself to find out more about yourself and looking at the wilder side of you. And everybody has that side. It's just whether that side is locked up or not, to be honest. Um, the level of that wildness really depends on each person, but you know, everyone has light and dark and wild to me can really speak of being at the cusp of being in the darker side sometimes. But, you know, that's because I was a huge rebel when I was younger. So I get that energy so well. Um, but with that said, immediately I was thinking about being wild, right? Sometimes people, it's, wild can also have a very, uh, like a certain negative word attached to this, a, a negative connotation to it. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. Wild can be as simple as simply, right? simply allowing your hair to flow, simply wearing flowy clothes, um, or a mixture of flowy clothes and things that do show a little bit more. You don't have to do any of those things. I'm just using that as an example. Um, or wildly dancing and going with the flow with your own body, however you want to dance, right? Um, what else do I tap in here? So, yeah, um, so we were talking about uncontrollable energy, right? Because when people hear the word wild, think about uncontrollable flames, uncontrollable energy. And yes, yes, you know, I do admit that this may be true on some level or on a level or so, um, but on a more mature level, this is about honing and expressing the wild side of you guys in a way that display poise and sexiness and control, right? She has control. She's beautiful. She's sexy in her own way. But look, she's holding a light, kind of like a hermit does, right? So basically, when I tap into this card, um, I, it really does remind me of confidence, right? It's about having confidence that comes from within, you know? Because the within word is correlated to the hermit mode. And it's you allowing yourself to be within yourself, to be by yourself for a moment in time, to not allow other people's mind chatter, right? Five of Swords, the conflict, other people's opinions, to really affect you in ways that really shakes your world. You don't have to do that. You have the prerogative and the ability to really hone in. Um, you can be wild just by yourself. You don't need anybody else to be wild, right? Tap into your own ability to, to be that beautiful embodiment okay uh, allowing things to flow right a lot of feminine energies here um what else do i see yeah like i said it is about that confidence okay and you know that really reminds me of that because i just had a conversation um with uh, someone that i truly truly love and a special person once told me that a person with confidence cultivated from within is much more powerful than someone who seeks to gain confidence from the influence of other people, right? If you have confidence because somebody else built you up, then that confidence that was built is very fleeting. It can go as quick, it can go away as quickly, quickly, as quickly as it has came into your body, right? Because it was not built through yourself. It wasn't strong. It wasn't a strong foundation of, of confidence. It was built through a mirage or um, a facade that was built from, from something else that wasn't, you know, it wasn't you who built it, right? Because if somebody, if, if that confidence came from somebody else, then if that somebody else leaves you or is not around you anymore, then is it really you that's confident? Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but with that said, though, it's saying that, you know, from from what I heard, right? And I will never forget it because it's a very great, a great saying, you know? And that saying really stuck with me. And when I see this card, it really truly reminds me of the hermit mode. Like I said, the hermit card, because she's holding that lamp here and she's going on a wild adventure on this boat here, right? And she's 
looking for answers from within. But imagine this is her inside her her own soul she is meditating and this is a look into her soul right that's another depiction of this as well that's what i'm seeing um what else hmm yeah so that's what i'm seeing but with that said yeah she's in the darkness right now but look at the magician card once you realize you, you are the, the magician, once you realize that you are the one who actually can create anything that you want to do, right? Look at how much light is backing you up. This light is, is basically a symbol and a sign for you to realize that you are bask in light. Once you know and you become um, the independent you, right? The cat. You are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. Go with your gut, guys. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. Okay? But think about that. So, basically, the magician, you know, which is a symbol of infinite possibilities, okay? Infinite resources. Um, this magician here has any tool to aid him on his journey, okay? Creating anything of his desires, I say, I don't really, you know, if you follow me for a long time, it, it's not about gender uh, specifics or anything. It's about the embodiment, right? The magician, the creator, okay? Which really leads me to um, a lot of different things here. But we talked about the five of swords, that mental conflict, not listening to other people. And that cat spirit also talks about that as well, not following the crowd, right? You are the leader, nobody else. Okay, so um, I think, did I talk about this? I don't know. This is how my mind works, guys. I just find stories in chaos. <laughs> so, which justice is coming. We did talk about that. So, with this, it's really indicative of justice um, being, falling into your favor, okay? So, if you are going through a court situation right now, um, there's a good high possibility that very high that you will have success because not only that I remember you having a six of yeah six of wands justice is coming and six of wands is about success okay about winning the battle and um, you're gonna do well and you're gonna be okay so don't don't worry too much go, go with the flow look within yourself the answer is there okay the characters that came through all of these beautiful embodiment here right the celebrities the beautiful strong women okay not even about um it's not about the culture it's not about anything it's about just the embodied the divine feminine energy tap more into yourself and look it is about the divine feminine i just noticed that uh women younger women uh younger women well younger man there's a man here but that's okay um women and older women right and then it's okay to find help too or it's okay to find help, right? Anybody can help you and you can help yourself. Maybe these are all you, right? We don't know, but this has come out for you guys, group number four. Um, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, but stay tuned because I'm gonna actually grab your charms, okay? I'll be right back. All right, group number four. So, so we've got here um, your attributes for the celebrities or genres right that that may correlate to the celebrity that you've been seeing and some charms all right so basically i've been just kind of not refilling it back into a, just leaving whatever comes through because each pile will have its own little version of you know uh, confirmations so with that i'm going to try and tap in when i'm ready i will drop it all right so that and then we'll see what the zodiac signs for either you or your celebrity okay and the letters as well wow okay so um there's a libra okay maybe your celebrity is a libra there's also a scorpio you've got libra scorpio capricorn um the letter f as in frank r as in richard another Capricorn, but this one's in pink, so maybe a male and female. And then you've got the letter A as an apple, okay? 
And then, oh, an S as in Sam. And then you've got kids show. Maybe the celebrity plays in a kids show. Um, and then you've got the R&B singer. So maybe that is an R&B singer um, that you saw, right? And that's a female energy, probably. Uh, maybe they play in a sci-fi movie, right? Or a sci-fi show. Who knows? Um, but these are just validations for you guys, okay? Confirmations. And then group four, you've got romantic comedy, right? Maybe your character has played many different roles in the romantic comedy genre. A darker skin tone, okay? Yes, obviously, the pendant had the darker uh, woman of color on there, so that really resonates. Um, and then short hair, okay? Not that that can go for women or men. Um, so, yeah, so with that, group number four, I really enjoyed um, doing this reading for you guys. That was really interesting. Celebrity wasn't like something that I normally do. So that was like, it caught me off guard. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to admit, I don't really know a lot about it. So let me look at that first card to kind of help me along. And I'm a very funny, funny person like that. But anyway, so with that said, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this reading. And if you haven't already, come join our amazing and creative family here where I do interesting and empowering pick a cards for you guys so that you can actually shine your uniquely, deliciously unique light. I said that twice. That's funny. Um, into the world. Okay. So it's totally free and it will help my channel to grow. Um, in order to help as many people as possible, okay? That's my main goal. Uh, feel free to like, share, and comment down below. I really love interacting with you guys, and that really is me. Um, with that said, um, also, if you didn't see the intro, I did give a beautiful shout-out to um, a content creator that I really do enjoy watching, and her name is Queen Sensitivity, and she also had a dream video that came out last week, so go check that video out. That was really spot-on for me. Um, but with that said, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!